Hi, this is a demonstration of IoT asset tracking system. So, this is a efficient system that allows for uh, indoor uh, tracking or tracking of objects and people or any asset inside the inside any facility. So, this is like a GPS tracker for inside uh, of a facility for indoor use. So, we can track uh, various assets that move through various rooms or various areas. So for demonstration purpose, this uh, project uh, uses uh, a transmitter circuit and receiver circuits. So as you can see here, these are the transmitter circuits. These are to be mounted on various uh, objects or assets, on people or uh, on uh, objects or on machines or whatever you need to track or courier boxes. So these uh, transmitter circuits can be mounted on individual assets and those are the receiver circuits. The Receiver circuits are to be mounted in rooms or areas. So whenever a transmitter circuit comes in a range of a receiver circuit, we can then track that that particular uh, you know person or asset is in that particular area or room. So this is how we can achieve indoor tracking. So these two receiver circuits, as you can see here, these are used to demonstrate as room one and room two. So whenever a transmitter circuit uh, comes in range of any of these. So it uh, transmits the data online on the IoT Gecko server and we there uh, can track the asset on uh, in a real time on a graphical GUI. So we have used uh, IoT Gecko for the online uh, display part for GUI building. So let's do one thing, let's turn on the system to see how it works. So as you can see, we have turned on the room one tracker system. And it's uh, connecting to the internet and it has now successfully connected. So these are the trackers. So we have already configured the trackers on the uh, IoT system online. So now let's do one thing. Let's uh, just turn on uh, a few trackers. So now let's turn on two assets. So these assets have been configured in the system to uh, notify about uh, a bed and one more object. So we can uh, change that in IoT Gecko. We can uh, enter any name for our devices. So as you can see, the system has detected that uh, machine two and bed one are in room one, as you can see. So this can be a room, corridor, whatever you want. So now, similarly, let's do one thing. Let's turn on the other two assets. So now we'll uh, wait for the system to scan and transfer data. As you can see, the system has transmitted the data and it is now showing uh, Doctor 1, Doctor 2 has entered the room and also Machine 1, Machine 2 and Bell 1 are in the same room. So similarly, when we turn on the other circuit, the other receiver circuit, when we turn on the power supply for that one, it will uh, detect the same for room 2. Let's uh, disconnect the supply for this one and connect to that one. So. All these assets will be detected in room 2. So whichever asset comes in range of that particular transmitter unit is detected in that particular room or area. As you can see it is all disappearing from room 1. So as you can see one by one as it uh, scans all the you know new uh, transmitters that are in range it detects uh, each of them and then it shows that all these are in room 2 so both of these can be used uh, together at the same time so that you can you know uh, demonstrate as room 1 and room 2 together 
for uh, such usage, you just have to keep both the transmitter units at a distance of at least uh, 5 to 10 meters from uh, each other and then you can uh, you know demonstrate the system by taking the transmitters uh, one or two transmitters in room one and in room two so this is how the system works thank you